friends today we're going to draw a panda. Yeah, we're going to draw a mom and baby panda together, hugging each other. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're using a pencil first and then a marker to draw with. You also need some? Paper and someone co with. Yeah. You ready to start? Yes. We're using our pencil first so that we could draw the main guidelines or the main shapes to our pandas. And first we're going to draw our mom panda and we're going to draw the head. We're going to draw it really big. I'm going to draw it about this big. And maybe, maybe change, I'm going to change this shape just a little bit so that we have a bigger cheek over here. Yes. And you can make your circle a little wider if you want. Maybe come out just a little bit further on the side. That's the nice thing about using a pencil. You can get the shapes just right before we use our marker. And then, yes, if you have extra, wow, that's a really big yeah. one. <laughs> We're gonna redraw that one. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. I think it's really nice to be able to erase any lines that you don't wanna keep. So you can draw this until you get the shape just the way you want it. So remember to pause the video if you want extra time. Nice job. I love the shape of your little mom's head. Okay, now let's draw the baby head and we're gonna draw it overlapping right here and we're gonna draw it a lot smaller than the mom head. So we're drawing it right through the other one. I'm going over it a couple times to also make it a little darker. There you go. That's a good size. Then you can erase the smaller one too. And while you're erasing, let's go ahead and erase the mom's head that's going through the baby. When we erase that line, it makes this shape overlap on top of the other one, or the bigger shape is behind the smaller one. Nice job. Okay, now let's draw the baby's body. We're gonna draw a letter U that's about this big. Yes. And then let's draw the mom's body and we're gonna come down like this and we're gonna curve under and connect to the bottom of the baby's body. And that's it, we're gonna stop right there. Then let's draw the shape for the feet. Let's draw the mom's foot right here. And I'm, I'm gonna actually, see how I drew it kind of high? I'm gonna change that so it's down lower and looks like it's on the ground. So I'm, I'm just gonna draw a quick line right here to show this is the floor. It's all lined up with the ground. Yeah, and then let's erase any extra lines we don't need. So I'm gonna erase the, the first foot that I drew. And then also let's draw the, or erase the body line that's going through the foot. Then let's also draw two ovals for the baby's feet. I'm gonna draw one here. I'm gonna draw another one on the other side. There you go. Then we can draw an imaginary line from the top of the mom's foot. So right here, we're gonna draw it straight across like this. And even if you want to, you could use your pencil since we can erase it. And I'm gonna draw that imaginary line that comes over here. And we're gonna draw the mom's foot that comes out next to the baby. On the other side of the baby. Like that. Now let's erase the baby's body that's going through the baby's feet. Now let's also draw our panda's ears. We're going to draw a circle that overlaps up here. I'm going over it a couple times. Also just to make it darker so that our art friends can see the lines on camera. I'm going to draw the other ear over here the same size. And our art friends can press lightly on their paper so it's easier to erase these pencil lines too. Then also let's draw little circles down here for the baby's ears like this. We're gonna draw two circles the same size. Okay, now that we want our mom to be facing this way, let's erase the guideline that's going through the ear on this side. On this side, we're gonna erase a different line. We're gonna erase the ear that's coming into the head. That makes this ear look like it's in front of the head and this ear is behind the head. Yeah, let's do the same thing for the baby except going the other direction. So let's erase this side of the ear on this ear and let's erase inside of the ear on the right side. 
Yeah, now that makes the head of the baby turned this way or pointing this way and the mom's head's pointing this way. Now that we have the main shapes to our pandas all done, let's switch to our marker. Let's start with our baby's head and we're gonna draw the nose first. I'm gonna draw a little oval in the middle, but towards the bottom. Oh, and also a little to the left so that the baby's head looks like it's turning to the left. Yeah, and then let's draw the mouth. We're gonna draw a little W, curved W underneath the nose. Then let's draw the eye or the patches around each eye. So I'm gonna draw an oval shape, but it's tipped towards the middle. And I'm gonna draw a little patch on the other side for the other eye. Let's go ahead and color those shapes in. Let's trace over the pencil line for this ear. I'm gonna draw just right on top of the pencil line. Then let's also draw a, an upside down U shape for the inside of the ear. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. We'll trace over the pencil line. And then let's draw another upside down U that's smaller inside. Okay, now let's trace over the head shape or over the pencil line for the shape of our baby's head. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Oh, I love that you added a little chubby cheek. Good job. And let's also color in the outside of each ear. We're gonna leave the inside white so that we can color it pink later. Now let's draw the mom's head. We're gonna first draw the oval shape for the little nose. I'm gonna draw it right here and we can color that in. And then we can draw the mouth underneath. I'm gonna just draw right over top of the baby's ear. And then let's draw the shape for the eyes. We're gonna draw a little patch, oval shape. I'm gonna draw it coming up, around, back down and connect back in. And that's a little mistake, but that's okay because we're just gonna color it in. I didn't completely come back to the same spot. Now let's draw another oval over here. And that's okay if you make mistakes, right? Yeah. The most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, and to... Practice. Practice. Okay, now let's switch to the other side of our marker, since these are large ovals, and we're gonna color in these big patches. Sometimes we speed up the video, so remember to pause it if you need extra time. Now let's switch to our fine tip on the marker, and we're gonna trace over this ear, or the pencil line for this ear. Then let's do the same thing we did for the baby ears. I'm gonna draw an upside down U for the inside of the ear. Then let's also draw this ear. And we can also draw an upside down U that's smaller inside. Now let's trace around the shape of the head. So I'm gonna trace down from the ear and then connect into the baby's head and then we'll come back up to the ear and trace around for the right side of our mama's head. Let's switch back to the other side of our marker and color in each ear. Now we're ready to draw our panda's bodies. Let's first draw mama's arm coming down and giving a big hug to our baby. So I'm gonna curve around like this and then we're gonna come back up and then stop on the back. Curve around, go past the body, and then, there you go, keep going. And connect. Now we can draw over the pencil line here. Let's also trace over the foot. Let's also trace the baby's foot here and also on the other side. Oh, and let's draw mom's other arm coming around and hugging the baby. I'm gonna draw a curve like this that comes around and connect to the side of the baby's head. So it's curving around our little baby. Yeah. Okay, then we can connect between the baby's feet we can also draw the little line here for the other side of the baby. And then let's draw 
the bottom of mama's body and also the foot. Let's also draw toes on our pandas. I'm just drawing three little circles and we can do that on each foot. I'm gonna draw three over here and we can also draw three on the baby. I'm gonna draw them a little smaller though. And then we can also draw a larger oval or circle for the bottom of the foot. Now let's switch back to our pencil, well actually the eraser on our pencil, and erase all of the pencil lines or guidelines that you can still see. Now we're ready to color our pandas. Let's switch back to our black marker and we'll use the chiseled side so it's easier to color in large shapes. We're gonna color in mom's arm, also on this side, and their feet. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color your drawings too. Good job, Austin. Now let's switch to our pink marker. We're using 88, and this is our Art for Kids hub markers. If you have the same set, you can use the same number. But don't worry, if you don't have this set, that's okay. You can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You can use a different marker brand or even a, something completely different like crayons, colored pencils, or even oil pastels. Let's use the pink to color in the ears and also the little pads on the bottom of their feet. So I'm gonna color in these circles and ovals down here too. Our pandas are almost done. We still need a few more things. Next, let's make our pandas more 3D by using a light gray. This is CG1 and we can add a little shadow. I'm gonna draw it right here, draw it coming down the head and around the cheeks and under the chin. Go back over it again to make it a little bit darker and then down here I'm going to add it also a shadow underneath the chin and we can also add a little shadow on the side of our little baby's head and underneath the chin. I think this makes our little pandas look more round and cute. We could also add a little shadow on the bottom of their bodies both the mom and the baby and I'm going to add a little shadow underneath the chin, baby's chin, and also the mom's hands. Oh, we could also add it right here underneath the mom's arm. And I might add also a little shadow on this side of mom's head. Now, if you want to, you could also add a shadow underneath the mom and the baby. This makes a shadow on the ground to make them even more 3D but you can leave this part off to keep the lesson a little easier. And if you want, you could also let the markers dry and then you can layer the gray marker on top of it again to darken in the shadow. And I'm glad that you're leaving it off to keep the lesson a little easier. The last thing we'll add to our pandas are the eyes. You can't see their eyes because we just colored them in solid black. And we're gonna use a white Prismacolor colored pencil. We're just gonna color on top of the black marker with the white colored pencil. We're gonna draw an upside down U or kind of a rainbow curve. And that makes the eyes look closed, but also happy. And let's do that same curve down here for the babies. Eyes. If you want, you could also add a little highlight on the panda's nose to make the nose look shiny. And we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our mom and baby panda, and they turned out perfect. I especially love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They both turned out awesome. That's because the most important thing is to have fun. Yeah, and to practice. Practice. Remember to have fun and practice. And you can also even add more things to your drawing. I added a little heart, but you could add an entire background. You could draw lots of bamboo. Oh yeah, you could also add even more pandas. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing pandas. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take extra time to add more things to your drawings. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.